We've never ventured out into the hill country, but we are because I want to learn a little bit about where the great Maui gold pineapple comes from. Now I've got a million questions as a chef and as a rancher and as a farmer, all the things that go on, but I got to make sure that the family sticks with me because I'll over question this. I will Clark Griswold this whole thing <laughs> oh, into the totally ground. Oh, you totally will. I don't even ask you. No one, it's not your time to talk yet. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's get into this. Tell us what happens here. How many acres are we looking at? How many pineapples do you make? Well, our farm is 757 acres. Of that, we probably grow only about 350 acres of pineapple. We give the land a lot of rest in between crops. We plant about 3 million pineapples a year. What? Wow. Yeah. How is that even possible? You got to get the pineapple understand. business. I don't understand how it works. How long does it take a pineapple to grow? By the time you put it into the ground to harvest, roughly about 18, 19 months. So when you're growing a 100-acre crop of pineapple, you have another 100-acre crop already going? Yes. yes. So you're leapfrogging every all year. the time? Yeah, every year. And letting the ground rest? Yeah. That's why we need a lot of acres on our farm. This is awesome. To think that all the way up here on top of the hill, which just looks like a beautiful green mountain, is pineapple cultivation. Yes. It smells flowery. I smell flowers. Yeah. So Maui Gold has this smell? Yeah, it, it's a real strong smell. So what's going on here? This is the flower itself. It, this will develop into the pineapple. And how do you plant a pineapple? Well, this is what you call a peduncle. The pineapple sat here. OK. So the slips grow around on the peduncle. After we harvest the fruit, we let the slips grow out till they're about the size of your hand. And we'll come in, strip this off of the plant, and plant that. So this right here, a little bit larger. Yeah. You can just take this and drop it in fertile soil. Mm -hmm. That's simple. It's a brooch. Does it take a lot of water to grow a pineapple, or is it very minimal? Um, fairly minimal. Yeah, fairly minimal. Compared to sugar cane. Yeah. yeah. And how do you know when a, I mean, I know as a chef the way we were always taught to smell it and press it and thump it and all that. All of the evaluation is done earlier. We check five weeks before a scheduled harvest, and then we'll watch the how, how the sugars develop, and then we'll try hit it as soon as we think it's maximized. Oh, no. How many pineapple are they going to pick? On a good day, we can harvest about 60 tons. It's about 20 of those bins. I mean, look at the mechanical setup. So the truck hooks up, the harvester pushes it. The employees behind up the boom, all they're doing is breaking off the fruit, putting it on. And literally, they just break it off? Yeah, it's easy. So if it's ripe enough, it should just crack right off? Yes. That is the coolest harvest game I've ever seen. <laughs> and if it's too small, they'll leave it on? They'll leave it on. The small stuff is what we use to make the juice for the vodka. Oh, really? Yeah, so we don't use the prime stuff to make the what juice. What a great cross-utilization. Yeah. We, we try to utilize as much of the fruit as possible. That's the smallest size we would harvest. And to break it off, it's just a twist? Yeah. That's it. See? Wow. That's wow. it. Do you see that? You're a pro artist. A harvester. We're hiring. Yeah, we're this hiring. Is, we're, we're hiring. Well, that don't, because I picked the small ones, evidently. That is amazing. And what's the best way when somebody goes to the grocery store to look at a pineapple to know? These are eyes, individual eyes. Okay. Do you want them to be flat and not pointy, like that one there? I see pointy. Got it. All right, let's see it, Jules. Come on, Jules. Get her done, Julesy. Ta-da. Money. Very nice. All right, Hunter. Which one am I picking? Um, pick the one in the middle out there. Yeah, I mean, flip-flops and shorts. That ain't happening. <laughs> so how do we trim it? Is there some out-in-the-field awesomeness? This is the fancy wheel. OK, here we go. Oh, look at this. Now he's showing off. Or well, look at him fan it out. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's delicious. I don't think I've had pineapple taste this juicy and this fresh. I mean, it's like candy. No, yeah, just, it tastes like candy. You just want more and more. You know what it is? It's the pineapple that they cut and core and put in the can and add sugar to. It's that level of, of exaggerated flavor, but natural and not done with sugar and syrup and so exactly. forth. Absolutely. Outrageous. Mm. I could eat that to my head fall off. This is my new starting point of how pineapple should taste. I got to tell you, as a chef, I was aware of the basics of the pineapple. This whole thing, it just makes it taste better. 